This is Phil Woolery with Purdue Extension, and today I'm gonna to talk about pruning this tree, and specifically what we're gonna do is some crown raising. So what is crown raising? So a couple definitions here. The crown, when we're talking about a tree, is anywhere we have branches and leaves growing. That's the crown of the tree. And when we raise up the crown, we are going to make the bottom of that crown higher, or other, other words, we're going to remove just lower branches. That's what the only thing we're talking about when we're doing a crown raising. So why would you want to do a crown raising? There's a couple reasons. You know, as these lower branches grow, they're gonna grow out um, horizontally and they could get in the way um, of your mowing or walking around and they could get in the way of kind of the visual. So they could block some views of your yard and you wanna have more, more visibility. Uh, those could be some reasons for doing a crown raising. So when we do a crown raising, we're not going to be going just cutting off these branches indiscriminately. We are going to uh, take out only as much as we need to, because if we take off too many branches, we're going to put the tree under stress and that's not good for the tree health. So uh, a general rule for when we're doing a crown raising, we want to have two thirds of the height of that tree have live crown on it and one third have the bare trunk. So we can step back and kind of estimate kind of the height of the tree and um, see about where one third is up on that, on that trunk and we can take all those branches off below that. And that will give the tr leave the tree enough leaves and branches to be, have healthy growth and not be under stress. And as this tree grows, we can do several of these crown raisings and keep it within that healthy limit until we get about the size like, this is a high enough for where we want the crown to be. It's, the branches aren't causing us any problems and we can just let it go from there. So I stepped back and I kind of estimated where the one third height of that tree is located and it's somewhere around here. So all these branches I can remove below this and it would, it would still be safe and healthy for the tree. I might not do all of these up here because you see they're kind of uh, grown. They're, they've got a bunch coming out kind of at around the same spot and that might, that might be a little, little much for the tree to kind of seal over these wounds, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and uh, so I might do take out some of these at, from this location on the trunk this year and wait until next year on the rest of them. But for sure these, these kind of this lower ones, they're more in the way and um, we're gonna take them out. So a crucial point on here is where are we going to make this cut on this branch? If we go too close to the tree, we can kind of do more damage on it than is necessary and, and hinder the process of that tree sealing over the wound we're making. And if we go too far out, we're gonna leave a stub, which can uh, also make it harder for the tree because it'll have to seal around that stub. So the correct location, we, we wanna stay outside this point right here. This is what we call the, the uh, branch collar. It's kind of where it gets fatter. So right around here, uh, we wanna make a cut that will remove this branch and kind of have a small surface area. So I'm just gonna do that right now on here. On this, this is a fairly small branch so I can just cut down from above like this. So I'm gonna use my saw and cut at the correct angle. I'm gonna, even though this is a smaller one, I'm gonna support it with my hand here so it doesn't break off as I'm cutting it, which could cause some of the bark to rip. And we've removed this, this branch at the right point, um, kind of the small surface area, and the tree will be able to seal around. Here you can see a branch that was removed last year. And we see this kind of ridge growing around here. We see this is still where that, that tissue was where we removed the branch. But it's starting to grow around it and it will seal over and uh, help prevent decay and everything from getting into the trunk of this tree. And here we can see a branch that's it's almost always completely sealed over where that branch had been removed. Might have been a little smaller, a little 
uh, cut earlier than the, the than the other one. So that's the, kind of the goal. We, what's going to happen with these branches that we're going to remove? And after we remove these branches, we don't need to put any covering or anything on the wound or sealant. Um, most of those those products that you can purchase really don't help the tree any or sometimes if it's a, some products can actually make it worse. So we can just leave it as it is and the tree can take care of itself. Now I'm gonna remove the rest of these branches. I think I'm gonna stop here. I still have about three branches that I could have taken off and the tree would be fine. Um, but I took off these, these larger two branches here. Um, I wanted to get them earlier. These won't grow as much as those would have. So it'll be not that big of a deal to come back next year and remove these. So with these bottom branches removed and we've raised the crown up, and it's still in the process, we're gonna uh, come back again and raise it up some more. Uh, we've kind of increased the, uh, the visibility around this tree. We've allowed easier maintenance with mowing and uh, uh, increased our kind of range of vision. We're not being blocked by these branches anymore. So if you have any questions about tree care or tree pruning, you can reach out to me in the comments below or reach out to your local extension office. Thanks and have a good day.